Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Chelsea. Hello, welcome, hi. So in today's video I have got the probably the last video of 2020 for my channel which is absolutely crazy because I started my channel um, in July this year, maybe June, I think it was June, the end of June. Like I did not expect me to start a channel this year, it just kind of happened because of lockdown. So I'm really grateful of 2020 for that part but at the same time let's get 2020 over us. I'm hoping so badly that we're allowed to actually live life next year um, but it's not really happening right now because Scotland's gone into tier 4 lockdown and I know a lot of England are still in tier 4 like for Christmas which is actually terrible like so bad. With that said I hope we did have a good Christmas and all the best for 2021. I hope we all have an amazing year to come. Anyway I'm going to get into my 2020 favourites. I tested a lot of products through 2020 just because I had the time and I wanted to really invest in like skincare, good makeup products and stuff like that. My New Year's resolution, I wanted to be more sustainable and to buy cruelty-free products. I think I've tried the best that I could. I have purchased one thing in this current favourites that isn't cruelty-free but like I didn't know what other alternative was actually worth it but you'll find out in a couple minutes what that product was. But I'm going to start with skincare first because that's like the most that I have to share with you. So the first thing I have is the CeraVe Essay Smoothing Cream and I did a review on my channel on this product. So yeah it's my most viewed video on my channel so if you want to check that out and see my honest opinions and me testing this out I'll put it in the eye card but I'm really loving this. I still am loving it. I'm still continuing to use it. Not every day though. I am using it maybe like once a week just to kind of keep it topped up. I've not got much left so I'm going to actually have to buy it again but it's for dry rough bumpy skin and if you're struggling with like under the surface spots or it's just kind of roughness on your face I really recommend this because it's helped my skin out a lot with under the surface spots like I said and it's also fragrance free. I've been watching skincare by Hiram and he says not to put fragrance on your face so I've been trying my hardest to buy fragrance free body wash, body lotion, body skincare. I really recommend this if you are looking for a new skincare product to help out your texture on your skin. The next thing is also the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I have been using this since July. I did a July favourites on this and I'm still loving it. I use it morning and night without a doubt. Like I cannot leave the house or go to bed without a washed face. It kind of scares me people don't wash their face. How can, you, how can people do that? I'm sorry, no. No. But this again is fragrance free, soap free and on common generic. So yeah, I'm really loving this and it does last a long time. I am the only one who uses it of course so so this is for your face and body but I only use it for my face I've used it like a wee bit maybe on my like neck and my chest area because if I have makeup I'll spread it down so just in case I missed it when I take my makeup off I make sure I cleanse it um to kind of help out that area but yeah I'm really loving this and yeah don't know what else to say about it another thing for the skincare part of this video is the Aveeno skincare range I have been loving Aveeno skincare. Um, I've been using the daily moisturising lotion every single day. Like every time I come out of the shower, I'll put it on. And I love it. It's so nice. It's unscented, which is even better, of course. And it's for sensitive skin. I've got a squeezy one and I've also got like this pump one. This one's more expensive for some reason. So I always normally pick this one up from like body care or home bargains to them as well. And yeah, I'm really loving it. So the next one is actually a face mask. It's the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Face Mask. I can't say that word. I've talked about this before on my channel and I still love it. This is the 75ml tub. Bought this for £18 I think and I've only, I've used it like a good couple of times and it's like not even went into it. <laughs> but it's this um, charcoal face mask and yeah. The only thing is it's kind of hard to take off um, just because it is like thick I guess. Um, and the another thing as well, sometimes it's a little bit too, not stingy, like it doesn't hurt, but you can really feel it on your skin. But I think that's a good thing and I do enjoy it. So yeah, I really think this is a good face mask. So another product I've been loving for 2020 is the Estrid Razor. I know you're going to be like, oh my God, another person talking about this, but honestly, it is such a good razor. I am not sponsored. I literally bought this with my own money, of course. And it's amazing. Like, I am not just saying that. This is so good. If you struggle with like razor burns or just shaving in general, I really recommend this razor. It's a very fancy razor as well and they're super cheap. Like I know razors can be quite expensive if you try to get a good razor. This was $7.99 and you get two blades with it, which obviously is really good because it lasts a long time and you can like buy the refill, like the 
and fill refills whenever you want you don't need to buy it like every three months it can be literally your choice um but the blade like i'm not even being dramatic the blade is so moisturizing like normally now when razors say like oh it's got aloe vera on it or it's got shea butter and the blade so it helps with the shaving and you're like oh, okay yeah sure this actually has like some type of liquid that appears when it's wet so it's like really easy to shave with i don't even make sense i don't even make sense there but i hope you get me literally when you shave you can feel the liquid appearing on the razor when it becomes wet and it's super fun to shave with and it just glides it literally glides i really recommend this um if you're looking to invest in a wee razor so the next thing this is really random and i don't really think this would be skincare but this is mouthwash this is a colgate max white mouthwash for instant and lasting whiter teeth my friend lucy told me about this originally and i really think it actually does work um it's to just kind of brighten your teeth up a little bit more they don't obviously give you a dramatic change of colour but I do think it's really helped and yeah I'm really loving it they're a little bit pricey when it comes to mouthwash I feel like mouthwash that's over a pound is like whoa that's a lot of money I really like this mouthwash so if you're looking to brighten up your teeth just a little tad the next one we'll talk about makeup I've not had too many because really for eight months I didn't wear makeup because of covid <laughs> but the first one is the Maybelline Superstay foundation I've had a couple bottles of these and I've, as you can see I need a new one but this is such a good foundation um and it's a really good price as well I think it's like a tenner maybe maybe even less than that and my color is 10 ivory 24 hour Superstay really really like it I've not tried their concealer which is probably really good as well considering I really like this. It lasts a long time and it's good coverage as well. A uh, blush I've been really loving is the Primark blush. They're actually one of my favourite blushes. It's so nice. Um, It's in the colour Desire. This is also cruelty free, which I love. And this was £1. Amazing. So good. Um, I really recommend Primark blushes if you've not tried them and you're looking for a new blush. Next one is this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu and it's really creamy and really buttery and I love it so much. That's the colour there. Really pretty. It's not sticky which I find quite annoying in lip glosses so it's not sticky. It's creamy though and it's really nice. A really pretty colour as well. I really want to try different shades um, but I'm really liking this one as well this one is a makeup brush that i got from tiki max and i love it it's a blush brush so it's angled it's from the brand Jap japonesque i'm really bad at that it's also really dirty and i kind of need to wash it but it's the 261 brush i've never tried this brand before but i bought it i probably even bought it in 2019 but i've been using it like constantly with my bl my blushes and I love that it's like really soft and it's really good for your blush I just like to have it on really and I really like it so the non cruelty free item that I was talking about is the OPI Nail Envy my nails are super super brittle and like thin and they chip a lot and it's so frustrating because I've been trying to grow my nails out um, in the last year because I can't get my nails done for work. I tried to avoid buying it because I knew it wasn't cruelty free but literally I tried other products and it just wasn't working. I tried, I couldn't find anything. I've been taking biotin, couldn't find anything that would help strengthen my nails and this has. Um, it's basically just a nail strengthener. It's no colour to it, it's clear even though it looks a little bit like yellowy but it is clear when it comes out and I think it's really helped strengthen my nails. Um, if you've got any alternatives that are cruelty free, please leave them below and I will definitely check them out. Um, I was just sick of growing like my, nail, my nails to a good length and they're all breaking work. It's just so frustrating, but yeah. On to some clothing. Well, it's only one piece, but it's this Zara Basics. Um, I guess you just call it like a razor, razor cropped up. I don't really know, but it's ripped and yeah i really like it i've been actually looking to find the white one but i can't find it anywhere i don't know if they still sell these but it's literally the easiest top to pair with anything like whatever you're wearing this top can be worn and comfy as well um so i really like that and it was like maybe like a fiver or something maybe seven pound um which is really good as well we've got my h&m bag that i got for 10 pound 10 pound um at the start of summer i think and I love it. I've been carrying this everywhere. It's got literally everything in it. Um, it's kind of zip pockets in it. Um, and I really like it. And it's black, of course, so it matches literally everything as well. I love a good, like, big handbag. 
yeah I don't really know much else to say about that but I'm really loving it I used to carry like really small bags around but because my birthday I got like a really big purse they don't fit in so I was like if I invest in a big bag then I can just carry my purse everywhere and I don't need to worry about changing purses all the time so yeah that's that so the last couple of items is kind of books i guess so the first one is the secret i found the law of attraction in 2020 but yeah i really like the book and i got this used off of like amazon and it's quite cute because the people before me um wrote little messages on how like the book changed their life and stuff like that it was quite nice to read so yeah i've been really liking the secret as well so the last things i'm going to be sharing with you is my planners and like diaries i've got three because Bas this is like my planner for the year and these are like just like my journal kind of dually brain dump notebooks. Uh, this one for like 2019 um, to 2020. I also bought a new one and this is from ASOS and yeah I've just got like all my uni stuff and I've got my mood tracker, like my to-do list, everything that I just need down I write in this book. And I've also got my 2020 diary. I bought this in 2019. It's like a 17 month planner. Got it from TK Maxx. And I really like it because the way it's like laid out. And I think this is a really easy way to like get everything in my head down through like these methods. Um, I'm actually going to do a 2021 plan with me. So you'll see that soon um, if it's not up already. I love bullet journaling and everything like that I'm just not very creative and I'm not very good at like drawing or even writing like my handwriting so ugly so I don't do stuff like that but in ways like that I do it for this like monthly mood track or whatever I started as well which is quite fun so anyway guys that is me finished with this video I hope you did enjoy it if you did don't forget to hit that thumbs up button leave us a wee comment below and hit the subscribe button if you've not already I hope you all have an amazing 2021 and I will see you in the new year bye everyone Thank you.